Hi, I am Shannon and I will be your host for today's topic about burning questions in the Singapore property market. Joining me today is Colin E. Colin is the founder of PSF Real Estate Academy. Since 2014, over 1,000 home buyers and property investors have attended the property investment education programs conducted by Colin. He is also a licensed property agent. It's nice to have you here, Colin. Thanks for having me here, Shannon. I have heard people telling me that I can buy a property in Singapore with no money. And I've also seen advertisements on Facebook, YouTube, claiming how you can own many properties with no money down. Is this true? It's not true. You cannot buy a property with no money. Under MES guidelines, buyers will need to pay a cash down payment for the property and the balance amount may be financed with a bank loan. Taking on a loan for a down payment is illegal under MES guidelines. This is clearly stated in MES Notice 632 Residential Property Loans under Point 5 Purchases Contribution. It says, A bank shall not disburse funds under any credit facility for the purchase of residential property until the borrower has paid out of funds not obtained through any credit facility granted by any financial institution regulated by the authority or money lender or any vendor's loan at least the difference between the purchase price of the residential property and the relevant amount so from what you are saying we need to come up with the cash for the down payment of the property that's right typically how much is the down payment well depending on the type of properties the down payment is usually 20 uh, percent to 30 percent of the property price so for a property that is $1 million, we are talking about $200,000 to $300,000, uh, excluding stamp duties. Wow, that's quite a big sum of money. Yes, the down payment is usually a few hundred thousand dollars uh, for a property. Mm. But since you said that we have to come up with this down payment, how is it possible to buy a property in Singapore with no money? Well, as I said earlier, you need to pay the down payment. But since you cannot borrow the down payment money from a financial institution regulated by the MAS or from uh, money lenders, the only way is to borrow the money needed from informal channels such as um, family, friends, um, strangers or even you know, other investors. I see. So it is not wrong to claim that you can buy properties with no money. You just simply borrow the down payment money from other people and this is how people can buy properties with no money, that's right? Correct, that's correct, yes. But why do these advertisements go about telling people these things? Such claims about owning many properties with no money is always mentioned by property investment education companies. And uh, since properties are big ticket items, there is always this general percep perception that properties are expensive. So it seems almost unthinkable that you know, uh, people can easily own multiple properties with no money. Mm. You must understand that owning a property is actually a very private affair and not many people will go around telling the whole world, you know, I own like 5, 10, 20, 50 <laughs> properties, uh, right? The only reason why you hear such claims is again due to the marketing angle. If someone tells you he or she owns 20 properties and can teach you a system to own many properties with little or no money, people will tend to believe and that's always the marketing hook. Their aim is to get people curious and interested, then get them to pay a fee to join a property program. And the most common strategy is to set up an investment holding company with a few shareholders. Uh, some will provide the funds for down payment, uh, some will be the guarantors of the property loan, and some will look for good deals in the market. So by co-investing in a property, some people may not have to come up with the cash, but can in fact become uh, co-owners of the property. I see. So by forming a company to buy a property with a few strangers, I suppose there are some risks involved as compared to owning a property by myself, right? Yes, of course. You lose control. Um, you can no longer make decisions by yourself, like when you want to sell and what price you want to rent out. And there are still a lot of questions which a savvy property investor should ask. Uh, for example, um, are commercial or industrial properties really a good investment in today's market? Mm. Um, what are some of the risks the co-investor uh, has if one of the shareholders decide to default on the payment? Um, can you decide when you want to exit from the property? 
right? Uh, are you comfortable investing with um, strangers where you have no control? And um, lastly, um, do you even realize whether the deal that is being offered to you as an investor is fair? Mm. Or is it a one-sided affair that puts the person offering you the deal in an advantageous position, right? So these are just some of the many questions which I think I think anyone should ask before you know co-investing in a property. So technically, it's not wrong to claim that you can buy properties with no money if you borrow the down payment from friends or investors. But this model of co-investing in properties may not be suitable for everyone. Yeah, I totally agree with you. It may not be suitable for everyone. And in fact, there was a report published by The Straits Times on 8 of November 2020 about a property education company claiming that it is able to help students buy properties with little or no cash down payment. Yeah, that's right, that's right. The reporter even went on to comment that even those who face job uncertainties now can suddenly own multiple properties overnight without having large sums of cash for the down payment. Well, this certainly sounds too good to be true. Yes, most of the time it is too good to be true, but there will still be a few successful examples who can get the money from others and own a property for free. And that's how usually these companies can validate their claims. Mm. Well, besides borrowing money for the down payment, I really cannot think of any other way that someone can own a property for free. Well, there's actually another way to buy a property with, with no money. Oh. Right? Um, so the, the method is that you find an undervalued property, uh, pay the down payment with your own cash, then uh, do a refinancing with a bank to get back your down payment as an equity term loan. Right? Oh. So, um, but that means that you need to take on a new loan to get back the down payment that you have paid for the property. So again, technically, you, you bought the property with, with no money, but bear in mind that you actually take on 100% loan for the property. I see. So that's how they do it. Yes, wow. precisely. Thank yes. you so much for your insights. I've really learned a lot today. Uh, thanks for having me here, Shannon. We have just heard from Colin E, who is the founder of PSF Real Estate Academy and a licensed property agent, sharing views on whether you can really buy a property with no money. Colin has helped over 1,000 property investors and home buyers on their property investment journey. If you are interested to reach out to Colin on your property matters, simply click on the link below to arrange for consultation.